Hello everyone, today in this video, which is the second part of Lumen API, we are going to learn how to create models, configure your database, create migrations, which is the tables, and a little bit more. My name is Diogo Vegas and watch to the end so you don't miss anything out and have your program not working, or your API. The first thing is where we left, we are going to create a new terminal. It will always start in the RESTful API video or in your main folder, if you didn't change the workspace folder. If you create it, right click in here, add folder to workspace, and you you add, you add your blog, it will start as your blog. You can also change the name of the folder, which is blog, to anything else, such as video, not video, but um, colors, okay? Not colors, but uh, not color blog. No, that's a little bit offensive. Let's just say API, okay? And in here, we are going to start by the database. I've already opened it because if I don't open it before the video, it will crash everything and it will be laggy, okay? The beaver, which we installed the last time, it might ask you for some extra downloads in the process or even ask for your permission to the firewall Accept it. It's not bad at all. New database connection in this symbol and you are going to uh, Select my uh, MySQL. You have a lot of them. The most popular and a lot of you know Yeah, I don't even know what it is, but let's just stick with MySQL in here. Don't change anything It's not needed for a local host. We finish it and by finishing it We can click in here connecting to the org local host in the databases, you may find some other databases if you use the my PHP admin, which is not going to be needed, promise. Just activate it so you can use the local host, but don't mess with the PHP ad my admin. Not really good for high level testing, okay? In the database, you are going to create a new one, which is going to be Lumen API. Now we have our database called Human API. We can refresh the page and have anything because we don't have tables. Before anything else, before any creation, we are going going to create, let me check, uh, yes, the environment file, .env. You are going to change the database, which is going to be Lumen API. In my case, you can put your name. We have the, ch the username to root because I didn't change the name. And we remove the password because we don't have one. In the key, you can put or you can install a package, a dependency for the key if you're in your time it already exists. But right now I'm recording the video, I did not find anyone, any dependency, any GitHub uh, app. And the little thing in GitHub which helps you create comments for Lumen 9, I didn't find it. But for your knowledge, the key has can have up to 32 characters. It's a string with numbers and, and letters, okay? Now closing it, yes, it's all good, okay, closing it. Don't forget to have always the app debug so you can see the bugs when it, they happened. We are going to create the model. The model, since we don't have any extra dependency, we don't have the command to create models, but we are going to do just in here in live so you don't mess with yours. You, you go to app, models, and you have already find the user. And the user is not really what you want because it has a lot of things about verification and you can always put the name and the email, but you cannot check the password. It's really complex and we are not going to dig that much. So we are going to copy and paste it, rename to call because we are going to create a, a, the table colors that the, um, the entity always have the first letter capital and it's always in the similar as the opposite of the tables because the tables it are always in not caps lock sorry I don't know the name lowercase yes always in lowercase and in plural now that we change the name we are going to also change the name of the class now we are going to remove some useless things for us you can also use the Visual Studio Code because it will darken the things that we are, are not in use. So just remove them. We don't need to authorize and that such things because it's too complex. And now we are going to create something protected. But it's not because it's going to be hidden, fillable. It's going to be the table. And the table is going to be the colors. And why do I do that? Yes, Lumen automatically, when you are going to use in the controller in the next video, you go to create controllers about a model, which you can not change anything without a model, you create controllers without a model, sorry, uh, you are going to need to identify the table, because imagine that in Portuguese, core, it's the colors, and it's not, and the plural, it's not here, it's with an N, a E, and a S, and it will just automatically pour, but like cars, and cars, it's a completely different thing, you understand, and in your language and any other words, it only adds the S, and it can not work because of that, so always uh, set the name of the table, so the model don't get confused and have bugs that you cannot find. After that, you may want to create a table, right? A migration. So, you are going to go to the documentation, the Laravel one, the official, you can always go to down, down below, 
in the Illumina uh, documentation it always have the go to our Laravel documentation full and nice and blah blah blah. In here exactly the first uh, comment is going to be generating migrations. We are going to generate a migration and migration and seed are the ones uh, are the only ones that have has the comments automatically without any dependencies. We are going to create colors because always lowercase and in plural. In here we are going to Visual Studio Code. Okay we didn't use any command yet but we are going to use cd not cd of course cd api you need to put the name of the folder you want to navigate to the opposite also works cd two dots go behind but we are going to go to the front. Now we paste the comments we just wrote in the Google and create a table. Migration created. Let's just close this so you don't get nasty. Close this as well. Okay, thanks. Now the database. Open the database and open the migrations. The folder is not at the beaver, okay? And in here, you can see that it has some, some uses, some returns and some here, the reverse migration. Imagine you want to refresh and you see. You will see next. Now we are going to check what's timestamps. Timestamps are just the time, day and hour that you changed it and you created it. So update and create that. And the table, the ID. The ID, it's, it's not really good to do that like that. Increments, it's way better. And now you put ID in here. Now, next, oh, 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 next, we are going to create another thing such as name. And, and so that you don't copy it again and again and or even write it by hand, you just use shift, alt, down, error, arrow, not error, okay, and change the type, which is going to be string, not varchar. And the last one can be dark, which is going to be the color is dark or not, dark blue or light blue. We are going to put a dark, the name, not here, the dark is not, it's not needed, we are going to use boolean. If it's true, it's dark, if it's false, it's light. Now we are going to migrate it, which is going to be BHP art artisan migrate, and it will migrate it to our database. We're going to refresh it, and in here, we created the migrations, which is going to be automatically, and it will be used to identify which tables were created by us and how to refresh and blah 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 and the colors which we created it has id we we not null and auto increment primary key as always because it's id and auto increment and the rest of them are not null because not null as default to make them nullable you are going to use this little thing the hyphen i think the bigger sign and you are going to create nullable and this parenthesis because it's a function now to reload it because you want to get it you are just going to put up our in the terminal two dots and refresh which is going to refresh all the tables in here refresh it as well and in you see you can already see that it's not null anymore so in this video it's everything Hope you guys enjoyed and see you soon.